Take your punch, seat it in the center, press down firmly, light tap. Ready to drill. All right, we're ready to drill the hole. So we're gonna touch down with our eighth inch pilot. With a little lubricant. Set the machine off. And then we've got a pre-pilot tip, like so. And that's got a nice little radius with the center. This is 3 8 to match the 3 8 carriage bolt. Turn your neural jaw chuck. And get all the way in. Firmly lock it in place, like so. It's already looped up. So now we've got to square this hole up. We're doing that with just a square file, hitting all four corners. To get it squared. But that takes forever, so we're gonna to switch to time lapse. Okay, so this is a carriage bolt seated into the square shoulder, filed into the angle iron. And that's nice because it allows you to fixture your part with a relatively tamper-proof finish. Okay, There's nothing on the head, there's no flat tip, there's no hex bolt, so it can't be adjusted from the outside. But that does require a square shoulder on the bolt that seats within the square hole of the angle iron. And it's very hard to drill a square hole, so we file them. And you can see that the shoulder goes through fully. And then, just to be specific here, the shoulder itself has a slight taper to it, and that's when it drops into the joint, it seats firmly. So when the filing operation occurred, although it did, did seem to go straight up and down, in order to receive that, the angle is so slightly drafted to allow it to receive the final shape of this square shoulder on the character. And then after that, you throw a nut on it and you're done.